Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime. Directions here say find the slope and y-intercept of the equation of the line below. Here's the equation of my line. And then use them to graph the line. So I'm supposed to find the slope, find the y-intercept, and once I know those, use that to smack a line on this graph. Well, let's give it a try. The first thing I want you to notice is that this line is already in what's known as slope-intercept form. And don't worry, you don't need to have this memorized. This is on the GED formula sheet. It gives us the slope-intercept form of the equation of a line. But what you do need to know is that when the y is alone, see how my y is alone on his side of the equal sign? Then I can see the slope, whatever letter is multiplying, or whatever number is multiplying with x is the slope, and I can see the y-intercept. Whatever number is adding or subtracting with x is the y-intercept. So looking at this, a lot of students look at this and they're not sure if that's a slope of uh, negative 3 halves or a y-intercept of negative 3 halves because they struggle to tell whether or not this little number is multiplying with x or adding or subtracting with x. Because of this negative sign, I think it throws people off. But take a look at this. Do you see how this negative 3 halves is shoved up against x and there's no operation sign between them? I don't see a a minus sign between them or an addition sign or anything of that nature, they're just really tied together with nothing between them. They are multiplying. Uh, since this is a multiplier, that means this is the m, my slope. So my slope is negative 3 halves. So then you might say, well, what's the y-intercept then, Kate? I need another number. I need a y-intercept. Well, what do we have adding or subtracting with x? What is out here adding? And obviously, there's nothing. We've got a number for that. What number do we use for nothing? The number 0. So what's the y-intercept? It's 0. Nothing's been added on it to x. So my slope is negative 3 halves. My y-intercept is 0. Let's now use those, those bits of information to graph the line. Now remember, you should start with the y-intercept. The y-intercept is actually a point. It's a point on the y-axis because it's where my graph my line crosses the y-axis. So my line's going to cross at zero. Okay. Now the slope, the slope is a movement. It moves us from one point to another point on the line. So we are going to move. Now notice that my slope was negative three over two. Now you might say, Kate, why'd you put that negative up top with the three? Well, it doesn't really matter, but you're only going to use this negative sign once, and it's usually e easier for students when they think of it with the top number. So negative 3 means I'm going to go down 3. This is my rise. Remember, a slope is just rise over run. So the fact that my slope is negative tells me to go down. So I'm going to go down 3. 1, 2, 3. And now I'm going to run positive 2. So I'll go 1, 2. And I'll make another point there. Great. So I, my y-axis was a point on, or I should say my y-intercept was a point on the y-axis. Then I made the movement from there of my slope and dropped another point. I'll connect them. And that makes a line. All right. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.